So again, good afternoon. My name is Jordan Seabury. I'm the chairman of the Univocal Legislative Minority Advisory Commission. And what we're tasked with doing is collaboratively combating racism by bringing together groups from across the state that focus on minority issues to build a legislative and policy package that can bring justice to those communities across the board. So in that capacity as an advocate for communities of color, I'm proud to lend my support to House Bill 5777 because marijuana prohibition is a costly, ineffective, and destructive policy that has harmed communities of color in Rhode Island as well as across the country. An ACLU report found that blacks in Rhode Island are three times more likely to be punished for marijuana possession in 2010. And more than that, it's a part of our failed and destructive war on drugs that's caused untold harm across the nation with a particular pain felt by communities of color. These drug laws have been a driver in mass incarceration and the boom in our prison population, as well as the militarization of our police and the disintegration of communities of color across Rhode Island and across the country. Regulating marijuana, like alcohol, is a sensible solution to a failed policy that has disproportionately affected communities of color. For that reason, I'm proud to lend my support and I'm proud to stand today with this coalition on the side of change and aid in the passage of House Bill 5777. So as of now, the drug laws as they exist disproportionately affect communities of color. Um, black and Latino arrest rates for marijuana possession and uh, conviction rates are disproportionately high. Mm -hmm. And so regulating it like alcohol will alleviate uh, many, of those, many of those discrepancies.